Open educational resources are copyrightable works that are either in the public domain or licensed in a way that provides everyone with free and perpetual permission to engage in the 5R activities. The 5Rs are retain, revise, remix, reuse, and redistribute. The extent to which a creator is able to engage in the 5R activities associated with open educational resources will vary based on how a resource is licensed and the technical choices made by the creator. This video will explore how technical choices impact the ability to engage in the 5R activities by using the ALMS framework as a guide. The A in ALMS stands for Access to Editing Tools. Some questions to ask include, can the resource be edited without the need to buy expensive tools? Can the resource be revised or remixed without the need for unusual or obsolete formats? And can the resource be edited using freely available tools available on all major platforms? A common format dilemma associated with access to editing tools in OER are PDF files, which are great for reading but require expensive software for editing. Consider also publishing the OER in an editable format, such as Word or Google Documents. The next consideration in the ALMS framework is the level of expertise required. A simple way to consider this is by asking, would most creators be able to edit the OER with their existing technical skills? Does the ability to revise or remix the OER require a level of expertise available to only a few. One might also consider the extent to which technical expertise is required to adopt the resource. The M in the ALMS framework refers to how meaningfully editable the OER may be. Some questions to consider include, is the content published in a manner that allows revising or remixing content? Can all the OER be edited? Consider the impossibility of editing a scanned image of handwritten text, for example. One may be able to edit the PDF file if they have the software, but the written text cannot be meaningfully altered. Finally, the S in the framework refers to self-sourced. Is the format for using the resource the same or different than the format preferred for revising or remixing. Consider the extent to which you can edit the OER directly or is a different editable version required. An example are video files. They are often distributed through platforms such as YouTube, but without access to the raw video file, it may be impossible to edit them. The ALMS framework is not intended to stunt OER creators from moving forward with their projects, but it asks them to consider the extent to which their technical choices impact the ability for others to engage the five R's. Here's an additional technical consideration as it relates to learning management systems. Sharing content with students through a learning management system is an effective way for consolidating course content and sharing it through an organizational structure that pertains to the course is helpful for students. However, learning management systems are essentially locked down for anyone not taking the course. When considering the larger questions of openness, it is advisable to think about how the materials will be organized and shared outside the learning management system.